Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'll be making a guide to bartering, collecting, and making money through basically sitting in the castle. This is going to be a one of two how to make gold videos. The other one you can expect to see pretty soon and will be about where to camp and like ground for gold. And pretty much where you can get drops to sell for decent gold. Before I start the video, I want to let you know that there is no single way to make millions of gold. And this won't work for everyone as it requires a certain skill and knowledge of the game. However, I will give you guys some tips on how to improve your collecting and bartering, including what to collect, when to sell it, what to sell it for, and also how to actually barter. First off, this is a slow process. A lot of things you buy and invest in will usually take quite a while to appreciate in value. The two disadvantages of doing this is you have to have some sort of capital or items to start which you can use to invest and it's not quick. Anyway, to collect and barter properly, you first want to identify the state of the server economy. A prime time to invest in appreciating, appreciating items is when there is a double plat sale. This means there is a high injection of platinum, which means the things you want to start collecting are in high supply due to people buying chests. If you are experienced in this, you will know what the things to buy. In particular, you want to buy the higher tier fashion pieces you can find, white and black in particular. You are guaranteed, especially if the fashion looks cool, that you, if you gather a set it will appreciate in value over time. Other things you want to invest in are things unique to the current event. A prime example of this that I can think of are the kites and flights from the update about a year ago. These days, they are worth about three to four times more than what they were worth then. Other items you want to collect are items that you know won't depreciate by another item similar or better coming into the market. This is why if you want to invest in current events locks, you want to sell it before there is an announcement of another event, as usually events locks generally gets better every time. Mounts are tough and unpredictable and I recommend you stay away from investing in mounts unless you have a really good eye for them. All the mounts vary, sometimes it doesn't even matter how fast they are and I can't really wrap my head around it, like they, they really vary in prices and stuff, I don't, just confusing for me. The next tip I have is orientated, orientated around bartering. When trying to become a collector, or if you already are, you want to create a professional image in your server. You don't want to be known for being able to crack and reduce your prices. The common trick people use when replying to people asking how much for a certain item or set, they, they reply with offer. This is because sometimes you can get an inexperienced player not knowing the price of an item and overpaying. But I do not recommend this as a vendor of the server. I would name my price, but make sure it's a good increase from what I purchased it for and I would not sell it if I was under the impression it was appreciating. Try and stick to your prices. You don't need to sell anything immediately. People generally come back and take the offer anyway. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for my next guide to making gold. Hopefully that guide can help a few of you without the initial capital to invest. And if you prefer grinding for your gold, also apologies. I subscribe if you want to see more videos. Catch you later.